What is going on everybody? It is Erock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's video, what I wanted to do was show you guys all the gun recoils from the automatic guns and uh, just more, the more viable guns in Apex Legends. Um, so if you guys enjoy this video, find it helpful at all, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to be doing here is being in firing range. You can see I do play on controller, that's why I see the controller layout on screen. I mean, these recoils are the same whether you're on controller or PC, uh, like con like mouse and keyboard, controller on PC, whatever. So I feel like this could help anybody that plays the game. So I'm going to be going over um, what the gun recoils are and just a couple quick tips on how you can manage them a little bit better. So we'll go over the light. Then we'll go over the heavy and we'll go over the energy guns. So here we go. All right, starting off with the first gun here, the RE45. We're going to grab a few rounds here. Um, I'm not going to put any uh, stabilizers on these guns. So we're going to try and keep it as consistent as possible. We'll put a blue mag on here. So, all right, if we come up just to the wall and you can see I have the controller on screen. So you will see I will not be trying to... Uh, adjust the recoil at all here. I'll fire this a couple of times. This recoil on the RE45 is pretty pretty consistent. It goes up and to the right. So obviously the way you want to control that is going the opposite direction, which is down into the left a little bit. So you can see it's honestly really not that hard to judge the RE45. So yeah, just go down into the left a little bit and you'll be able to manage the recoil a lot better and it's pretty easy to do. It's without a stabilizer, so there's the RE45. All right, next up we're going to do the R301. Uh, I don't have a stabilizer or anything on it as you can see. But anyway, before we get too carried away, the R301 aiming in, not pushing anything. It just goes up, it goes to the right a little and then to the left very quickly. So as you can see, we'll do it a couple times. That's pretty consistent across the board. In order to control the R301's recoil, you'll have to go down a little bit, and then to the left a little bit, and then to the right a little bit. So when it gets towards the bottom, it's a little bit harder just because it moves so quick. But as long as you keep it somewhat in an area, you can get that to be pretty, uh, pretty accurate. Next up is my favorite gun in the game completely. It is the uh, R99, of course. So we'll just come up to this wall here, aim in and in. We'll shoot it a few times. This one, it jerks up to the top and to the right and then quickly to the left, very, very quickly. You can see I don't have any sort of extended mag on it. I probably should just to show this showcase this a little bit better but as you can see it just goes up into the right a little bit so in order to control that you just kind of do the opposite direction you pull down slightly and then you pull to the left slightly and then pull to the right slightly so it'll probably take me a couple times to get it a little bit better but like I said there's no stabilizer on this so the results from this little test right here probably won't be as good as it can be but either way, if you're even from this far away and you're controlling it this, like at least this well, um, you're going to be hitting all your shots on your opponent. So, uh, but yeah, so this is how it looks without doing anything and then trying to control it a little bit. You're, you're hitting all these shots regardless. So as long as you can do that, you're going to be good. And that's the R99. All right. Next up here is the alternator. Now. Uh, this gun honestly isn't that hard to adjust the recoil. This thing really only just sprays upward. The first few shots go up pretty quickly and then it kind of stabilizes out. All you have to do is slightly pull down with the alternator and you'll be able to uh, do some good damage. I'm not going to take too long in this one. All I have to do is slightly pull down. There you go. Yeah. So I like you just slightly pull down. Hopefully the, the controller does justice on showing exactly how much I'm pulling down. And uh, obviously it's going to depend on your sensitivity as well. So uh, yeah. Now I wasn't going to do single fire guns, but just so um, you can see, I guess 
the the scout spam on this isn't all that much so if you just spam the scout it just goes slightly up so i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one all you have to do is just every other shot pull down a little bit and you'll be able to <laughs> to get it into a pretty good area i mean it's honestly not that difficult if your if your spread is this on an opponent you're going to be hitting shots anyways so I'm just going to move on from the scout. Not too difficult. Just pull down after every other shot. All right. Next is everyone's favorites. The uh, the heavy guns. We're going to pick up the Spitfire here. It uh, it spits word up and then it goes left and then it goes right. It, it's kind of interesting. It goes up to the left to the right, up to the left to the right, up to the left to the right. I kind of like this snake looking pattern. I'll do it the two times just so you can see it's pretty consistent across the board. It just does this little motion. So you're going to have to do the, the opposite form of that. So you're going to have to pull down and then pull to the left a little bit and then pull to the right and then pull to the left. So especially if you have a reticle on it, but it does kick a little bit. So once you get used to it, you're just kind of fighting, fighting the, uh, the judgment of it the left and right part but as long as you're somewhat you know giving it some sort of like control the Spitfire honestly isn't hard to control as long as you just try and keep it in a small little area you're gonna be hitting shots all right next we are going to be doing the prowler now the prowler uh, isn't very hard to judge either it just goes up a little bit to the left a little bit to the right a little bit um and all you have to do to control that obviously like all these guns is do the opposite direction so just pull down slightly and then as it goes to the left and to the right a little bit just slightly move uh your thumbstick or mouse whatever you're using and this is without a stabilizer or anything on that or a stock or with anything on it so again not too difficult just come in the firing range and practice this a couple times and you'll be able to get this down pretty well and like i've been saying um if an opponent is at like where we're shooting just we imagine the shots we are going to be hitting this ish far away from someone probably this is probably farther away than on that rock over there if i'm this far away like, yeah, I missed a couple shots there, but even just hitting that many on someone, like just how quickly you're going to be killing them. This is only with a blue mag too, no stock on it. You're going to be able, you're going to be able to take people out very quickly with the Prowler. So, all right, next up we got the Flatline. Now, again, this gun, it, this gun, it spreads a little bit, kind of like the Spitfire in a way where it goes up into one direction and to the other direction. Now on this one is interesting. You could see when it kicks left and right, it kicks left and right a little bit more than the Spitfire did. So that's the issue here that you're gonna have to try and control. So you're just gonna have to pull down slightly. And this one to me is one of the harder guns to judge um, when it comes to the kicking in the left or the right. Just because the kick in left or right is so like the amount is greater on this gun, I think, than any others besides probably the Havoc at this point. But, but once you get it down pat, you'll be able to put it, keep it in some sort of smaller area. And doing that, it's going to, uh, you're going to be hitting shots, slightly pulled down, and then go to the left a little bit and to the right a little bit just to counter what you're seeing from the actual recoil pattern. Now, I'm not going to really spend a lot of time on the, fl on the uh, Hemlock because it's a three round burst. And all it does is pick up slightly. So all you have to do is either while you're using it in the three bar three round burst mode, just let it come back down and it's going to stay in the same spot. Or if you're using the single fire mode, just pull down slightly. And all you have to do is that's all you have to do is just pull down slightly to get uh, repo down with the hand. Very easy. All right. So the L star, just letting it do its thing. This thing just kicks up, basically. It kicks up and very slightly moves to the right and very slightly moves to the left. So all you have to do to control this one is honestly just slightly pull down and let... With this gun, you can honestly, while you're holding down, 
or pulling down, you can honestly just let it move left and right for you because chances are people are going to be moving when you're shooting them. So when it moves left and right a little bit, you'll be able to hit more shots too. So that's just my thing with the, the Devote or the L Star. And some of these other guns you can do that too, but if you just slightly pull down and if the kick in left or right is not too much, you're going to be hitting shots. So look how easy this one is to control. Slightly pull down. There you go. Perfect circle basically with the L star. Now the Havoc used to be the most dominant gun in the game. It's still kind of viable if you ask me, but um, the kick on this thing now is super, super large. This thing just kicks straight up. You can see it went all the way up over these rocks. Now, I mean, it's good because this Havoc used to be the most dominant gun in the game. Like I said, it still could be uh, used as long as you control the first few kicks of this thing. It's still pretty good. So I'm going to try my best. Again, no sort of stock or stabilizer on this gun. Um, so if you pull down, you'll be able to control it a little bit. That wasn't actually pretty, but that wasn't that bad. Um, I'm gonna try and do this. Yeah, if you aim somewhat towards someone's, okay, this is gonna sound weird. If you aim so towards someone's feet on the first few shots with the Havoc, since it kicks up so much, and then you just control it from there, it's still a pretty viable gun. Um, you just have to practice it a few times. But like, honestly, if you aim at someone's feet like that, and then just level it out. I think it could be uh, not bad to use still. That's just my own opinion. And last but not least, we are going to be going over the Devotion. Now this gun may be slightly different on this video considering um, it is a crate weapon and it has a reticle for us. But, um, so if we just let it do its thing, it kicks up very, very high, just like the Havoc does off the start. And then it kind of evens out and moves left and right kind of steadily. So in order to control this, just like all the other or other guns, you're going to have to pull down slightly off the start. And then you're going to have to do your best to kind of stabilize it. But with the Devotion, it is such a powerful gun. As long as you even hit maybe half of your shots, you're going to get an elimination just for how powerful the gun is. So yeah, if someone's that close, a little bit further away, and you're pulling down slightly off the start, and then just controlling it from there, you're going to be hitting a lot of your shots. You're going to be doing a lot of damage too. But I believe those are all the guns I wanted to go over in this video. I hope it somewhat helped you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, guns I didn't do, uh, leave them in the comment section down below. I didn't want to do like pistols or anything. I didn't really feel the need to do the scout too much or the hemlock too much just because they're semi-automatic you just pull down slightly. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe for more, and that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you in the next one.